Hello everybody, this is Leervok, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we made our way through, we made our way into this cave. Before that, we defeated Mr. Carpenter and rescued Paula. In this episode, damn it. Anyway, like I was saying before, I got interrupted by the, by the mole. Ah! Okay, this is very frustrating. You know what? This is like my sixth or seventh take on this dungeon, on this attempt in the dungeon alone. It's really starting to get me mad. And, yeah, these battles I'm having to cut are just frustrating. So I don't, I don't want to cut this early into the video, but I'm going to have to because I don't want to... I don't want to bore you all with the same battles over and over. Well. Okay, anyway, after that embarrassing battle, um, we come up to our boss. Well, I'm not going to use our PSI quite yet. Um, no. Kind of have to, so we're gonna heal up Paula real quick, <coughs> and we're gonna go ahead and fight this guy. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. This is the Mondo Mole. Well, first thing we're gonna want to do, um. Oh, you know, I'm going to try paralysis on this guy, see if it works. And then I'm going to, hopefully, thunder will hit him. Yeah, this guy uses life up. So using paralysis on this guy is actually something that you want to do. <coughs> thunder isn't guaranteed to hit, as you see. And I believe with... Oh, for the love of God. We're just going to have to just... Ugh. Let's start paral paralyzed. Um, no, we're not going to waste rocking on it. It's a good move, but it costs so much. We're going to try freeze beta. There we go. We smashed it. Um, let's try fire and see how much damage that does. Yeah. So at this point, with Paula, you might as well just keep... Yeah, keep using Thunder. It's the cheapest move you have, and if it hits, it deals a heck of a lot of damage. Um, as for Paula, as for... Yeah. As for Ness, just basically just bash it. There we go. And it's basically just uh, another fight. Ness is now level 20. Yes, our offense went up. Maximum HP, PP went up. You the power of life up, beta. It's like life up, except heals more. Paul is now level 15. <coughs> Excuse me. You realize the power of PSI Magnet Alpha. Now we can steal PSI from other people. Now she's level 16. Wow, this is going to be a long level up, isn't, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Not as long as I thought it was. Okay. So we made it to our next sanctuary location. Little Step. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recovered the melody of the of the Lilliput steps. Oh, Lilliput, sorry. Not Little Step. You get the idea. Now the enemies will be wanting to avoid us. Just something I had wished would happen when we were in the cave. Anyway. 
So we're going to make our way out. Um, I will see you guys outside. Okay, and welcome back. What felt like half a second to you was about a minute for me, so it's not too bad. Um, okay, so now that we're done with the, with our second sanctuary location, we're going to head back to Tucson. Because, well, that's where we've got to go to progress. Um, so yeah. That means we have to go through Peaceful Rest Valley. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Getting the flu all over again. Oh, might as well be. Ah. <sighs> you know what? I really hate aliens. And the fact that I have, like, the worst, that my characters have, like, the worst immune system in the world. I mean, I know I cough a lot. Well, I just caused that battle. Note, note to self, another... For once, the butterfly comes to me when I don't want it to. Well... Oh, well, it's only going to be ten it. Oh. We'll use that. No, we're not going to use that on this. We'll use that one on Paula, though. I'm 38. Let me check my status. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> All those times I praise the butterflies and start chasing them. And what happens this time? It comes to me when I didn't want it to. So I could have healed and had my, my, uh, PP back. Wow, it's weird saying PP. Sounds just, well... Again? I gotta stop running away from battles when they're, like, inches away from me. It's not good for my health. Seriously, I'm, like, dying over here. Okay, now. Ooh. Before we do that, go ahead and use life upon Ness and life upon Paula. Get the butterfly! Yay! Okay, this time, this time we actually got the butterfly for a purpose. Okay, now, as you can see, the bridge over here is fixed. All thanks to this guy with the glasses. Um. Yeah. That he, if you talk to him, he said he apologizes for turning all evil and blue on you and stuff like that. Ah, I hate these sprouts. Oh, well, let's hope we can kill them both in one hit. Or not. Or it just tries life up when it doesn't need to. That is one advantage of... <clears throat> That is one advantage of the of a newer RPG that this game doesn't have is smart AI, because the AI in this game seems to just randomly use abilities when they can. Okay, good, it went away. And um, anyway, they just the AI in this game just really just sucks. But you know what? It's on par with Super Nintendo games at the time. Um, even, even let's say like Chrono Trigger, I'd say, though in Chrono Trigger the AI is really more or less dumbed down, because they, they all have like just a few varied attacks. And of course the bosses are smart, you always make the bosses as smart as you, well, not as smart as you can, because if you did that they'd kill you in like three hits. Okay, so. Now that we're back in Tucson, we're going to be doing some things before we head off to the next area. Um, <clears throat> what we want to do actually, oh, well, we want to talk to Berglin, to, uh, not Berglin, we want to go into Berglin Park and talk to Everdread, like we said we would. Um, so let's do that right now. First, you must take her to her parents. They're really worried. Also, I have something to give you. Be sure to come back here. Promise? Alright. Okay. So, we're going to our parents first. 
Excuse me. I'm considering getting another egg for our chicken. Okay, so. Oh, the music's changed. I like the other music. Okay, so we talked to. Yahoo! I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any great challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band aid. Ooh, that rhymes! I know, I'll call it a hand aid! Ness got the hand aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he's that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Burling Park. Yes. That hand aid is a one of a kind item, too awesome to use. Oh, Paula. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who's, who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next time, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our powers, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Wow. Roll reversal much? Anyway, that hand aid that Paula's mom gave us is actually very powerful. Hello, Ness. Everjay is looking for you. He's got something for you. Okay. Um, actually, I shouldn't say powerful. It's actually very good. Um... Hand-Aid. Handmade Band-Aid. It heals a wounded body. Gone after one use. Heals a wounded body. Um, it's pretty dan- it's pretty good, but it's one of those too awesome to use items. If you don't- if you don't know what that trope is, it's an item you get in a game that's way too good to use, because it's like a one-of-a-kind item, but it's very good. Um, but anyway, we're, looks like we're running out of time, so in the next episode, we're going to talk to Mr. Everdread and figure out where we need to go afterwards. So, I'll see you guys later.